Oh my god, okay, what am I saying? So, the question is, what is neutral spine? Can we practice? Yes. Neutral spine. Just straight back, like flat the whole way. Straight spine. When your spine is straight. So I don't know what it is, but it's hard to explain it. Spine straight. It's when your back straight and it doesn't bend when you squat. Like when your spine is just like open straight, like stacked. Straight back. No curve. No curve. Oh, a little curve. So straight is close, but it's not technically correct. Zoe, if you please. So your spine has like natural curves in it to allow sort of like the weight of your body not to all be on the one place. The spine has four natural curves. Two lordotic, the cervical in your neck and the lumbar in your lower back, and two kyphotic, the thoracic through your ribcage and the sacral right down where your sacrum, your spine, meets your pelvis. So it's like nest shape the whole way. <laughs> Natural curve. The way that your posture is normally. Not too far forward, not too far back, something along that line. Keep it in that kind of, yeah, as I was talking about. So you have like a flat spine or like a really exaggerated curve it's like in the middle. The grey between the black and the white. It's not too curved and not too straight, it's kind of like just right. Neutral spine is where your back is in its natural position, so there's nothing like having extra stress on any singular part of the back, I guess. That perfect curvature in each part of your spine so that nothing's too stretched or there's not too much weight on anything and you're nice and balanced. The reason neutral spine is so important is when we load the spine with compression in exercises like Squats College Arabesques RDLs Step ups And landings We want to distribute those forces evenly through the intervertebral discs Whenever you're doing an exercise or a squat, you're keeping yourself straight and you're not moving around. Making sure that you don't arch back too far or come or tuck your pelvis in too far forward. Or else you get pressure through your lower back. So you don't damage your discs in your back and like move them out of place because you're picking up too much weight. So Ruby's hit the nail on the head there. When the spine's in neutral, all the vertebrae stack on top of each other, meaning when that force, that compressive load, whoa. When a compressive force is added to the spine, any force that goes through those discs will distribute evenly through the entire 360 degrees of the disc. When that spine is not neutral, particularly when it's flexed, it looks something more like this. And so now when it looks something more like that, when that rear disc wall is open, if you add compressive load like this, Instead of the force being distributed evenly through the disc, it's going to send backwards to the rear end of the disc, stressing out that rear wall and accelerating the degenerative process in those discs. That's why we squat with seats. Learned that last week. Thank you. So we've got a golden rule in this gym. Get as low as you can whilst maintaining neutral. And so we use seats to control depth on squats. And we use blocks to control the depth on our core lifting and our deadlift variations. Which we adjust according to individual's mobility and control. And why is it important? Um, because it's how your spine wants to be. It's like it's a little happy place. That happy place that Elle's talking about really applies to lifting and adding compression to the spine in exercises like squats, deadlifts and core lifts. They're the situations where you really want that spine to be neutral. In life and in sport, it's expected and it's normal that your spine goes through ranges of motion, whether it's flexion, rotation, extension, that's normal. It's when you add compressive or shearing force to that, that you're really accelerating the wear and tear on those discs and particularly, that rear wall of the disc, forcing that nucleus of the, of the intervertebral disc rearward, stressing out the annulus. 
Now, this is the real reason why we do all our squatting and core lift work only to a depth that allows our athletes to maintain neutral. That doesn't mean we're afraid of flexion and afraid of, of motion, but what we do is we separate them out. So we do our heavy lifting in a neutral spine alignment, and then if we're gonna add any, add any flexion to the spine, we do it when the spine is unloaded in something that we call a ROM squat. What of the ROM squat is to get excellent range uh, without the load. So we're chasing that good depth without any load on the spine. Uh, it gives us the ability to move well laterally and get down in our stance. Do you want to talk about neutral spine now? Yeah. We're really going to make you do this? Yeah, go on. It's just when you have a straight spine. I don't know. It's <laughs> good enough? It's pretty good, yeah. Why is it important? So you don't break your back. <laughs> Pretty yeah. simple. Yeah. <laughs>